All right, now that we got the shield plasti dip with all three layers, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to paint it, but I wanted to give you a pretty good view of how this ended up looking. I got three layers on all the outside, the front, the back, inside the handle. The only thing that I did more on was the boss right here, and now you can kind of see that it's nice and smooth, and all the texture is gone, and it's going to stay on there for a good long while because it has so much plasti dip holding it in place. As you can see, the back is all plasti dipped and nice. Uh, the inside of the handle is all plasti dipped as well. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and paint it. Now, what I use for paint is the Basics Liquitex paint. You can either get it at Michael's or you can get it at some Joann's. You can get it at Hobby Lobby sometime. This paint, even though it's not a liquid latex, it is an acrylic, it says. Yeah, it's an acrylic color. The thing is that it is pretty flexible. It's pretty flexible and it covers the Plasti Dip really well and gives it a nice color. The only thing is that it is a bit more expensive. I believe a size bottle of this, which is a larger bottle, this one ran me about $10 at Michael's, but they do have 50% off coupons every now and then, so go ahead and check those out, as well as Joann's always has coupons for at least 40% off which is uh, really reasonable, so keep your eye out for those. You can use whatever paint that you think is necessary for a project like this. Uh, there are plenty of paints out there. I'm pretty sure latex paint would be better for this specific kind of project, but that is even more expensive, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know. If there's any other better paints, just put them in the comments to let people know about it. And the thing about this paint, though, and painting, is there's many, many thousands of different ways to paint things. There's people who have been painting for a long, long time and all have their own opinions about how to paint things. But what I do with this paint is I literally grab the paint, put it on the brush, rub it on there. What you want to do with this paint in particular, as far as I'm concerned, is you want to spread it pretty thin for the first layer, and it's going to come out like the Plasti Dip did. It's not going to cover the whole thing, it's going to be very streaky, and it's not going to look too terribly good, but that's why we're going to put a second coat over it. And if you put it on thin, it'll dry reasonably fast, not like super fast like dab or anything that the Plasti Dip does, but it will dry a lot faster than if you put a big old thick coat of it on. If you do, it will more likely cover enough that you need to cover, but that takes hours and hours and hours for a thick coat like that to dry. So put it on thin, let it dry, put the second layer on, and let that dry. Uh, you can paint also whatever colors you want to paint it. This is just the way that I'm going to do it since I'm pretending like this is going to be planks of wood. I'm going to do that brown. I'm using a dark brown. You can use whatever brown you want. And I'm going to be putting gray on all the metal pieces, which is the boss and the rim around the outside with all the rivets and everything. You can use a metallic color, you can use a silver color, whatever you want to use. But I think the gray looks very good in my opinion, just because I do like the darker kind of look of older style weapons or something, not so super shiny or anything like that. I like it because it seems to almost have a little more of, it looks a little more real, like as if it was something that was used in battle, but at the same time I do believe metal is actually shiny, so who knows? <laughs> I just like the way that it looks.
Alright, so here's what the second layer of the brown and the gray looks like dry. As you can see, it looks a lot better, a lot more solid of a color, especially compared to the first layer. It's not going to stay this color by the end of it. We're going to do some little tricks to make it look more realistic, but just to get uh, a color on there, we started with that. Now I'm going to paint the rim and the inside of the handle.
Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit of the black Liquitex paint, I'm putting it on my brush, and then I am rinsing it under a little bit of water so that whenever I brush it onto the shield itself, I can wipe off the excess with a towel, and the paint that remains builds up in all the cracks and crevices and brush strokes and things like that to where it gives it more of a realistic color, turn deeper parts of the brown into a darker brown and lighter parts of the brown to the normal color that it was before, and so on and so forth. It makes the metal look more metallic, if you will. This method is pretty much called a wash. Once again, there are a thousand different ways to make a weapon look more realistic, but this is the way that I do it. And it is a little bit of a waste of paint, so if you can find out a better way to do it, go ahead and post it in the comments. The paper towel that I'm using is called Viva. I forget, I think it's called Viva Tough and Strong, but it's basically, it has a little lint, so not a lot comes off, and it's very good to wipe up these kind of thick paint. So therefore, that's the paper towel I use, but you can use whatever works for you. And other than that, the only thing that's left is to put some cloth tape around the handle, which you can buy at Academy or Walmart or places of the sort that has sports equipment. But after that, that's pretty much it. Apparently this whole video is about 2 hours and 26 minutes long, so kudos to you if you made it through the entire thing. And I'm sorry that I couldn't upload it faster with a lot of things in life going on. I believe the next video is going to be how to build javelins or spears. And I think that's pretty much it for now. Thank you for watching, and have fun with your new shield.